welcome back to the vlog and this week I've got my buddy Ed with me here. Your buddy. What's that? Your buddy. My buddy. My buddy Ed. And uh, we wanted to share with you our oh. trip to France and um, so we thought we'd just talk a little bit about it and then we'll ro roll a lot of the video and share with you the experience as we saw it going through France. Uh, anything you want to say to our friends out there about the trip and what really, like, what impact did it have? Like, this was our first time ever to, uh, well, to France. Uh, first time for me, I had gone previously to do some work uh, in his previous career. And uh, what what really impacted you? What did you, what did you bring home with you? Uh, I think, you know, it was a 30-year bucket list. Men of our age, our parents were over there, and you have this thing out there, and you went, and it's uh, it's overwhelming, and it was really just a great, uh, impactful thing. And I, we are going to go back. I, at least I'm going to go back somewhere to. Uh, I hope I get to go too. Yeah. Well, I want to do the whole army thing. You know, we didn't get enough yeah. chance. We, uh, so it was a, we went through. We did a bicycling tour through Normandy, and that was really the focus of the trip because it's been a, Ed's bucket list for many years to go to the beaches, Omaha Beach, Juno Beach, all the beaches there around the D-Day event. Yeah, so it was just a stop on the on the bike tour. So we only had an hour at the beach and then a little bit of time in the cemetery. And it was pouring, raining. I mean, it was emotional anyway, but it was, uh, I would have, you know, in hindsight, at the last day of the trip, because we should have stayed there, but we came back to Paris. But you learn as you travel in Europe as a couple and you figure out, uh, it was our first trip away from home. We had a nice lady stay at the house. Take care of all Take care this of the house for us. and dogs. Yeah. It was great. It went, yeah. So that was our first foray into that. But I would say that uh, it was, I think you, sh as a, you know, people our age and your parents have been over there. It's up there with Gettysburg. You know, people will argue that we didn't have the losses of Gettysburg, but in the history of, of America, I think, in the world, I think that was, it was just as big a stage as Gettysburg was to America. Mm -hmm. um, but it was outstanding. It was a great historical. People were wonderful. Food was fantastic. Food was unbelievable. And I, I think the thing for me is, and what I had anticipated, was just the gardens and the flowers and, and all of that. So that will be, and it really inspired me to come home and hit the gardening season with so much love in my heart and uh, just... Uh, you know, I think that's the beauty of, of gardening to begin with, is that it opens up your imagination. And to see how, I mean, seeing flowers coming out of, of rock walls, and I'll show you some video footage of that, is really pretty amazing for me. So with that, um, I think, unless you have something else you want to share, we'll just roll it into the video. Yeah, one thing I would like to say. Ed I, always has something Well, I, as, a, as a native New Yorker, <laughs> anybody who knows growing up here, every neighborhood has their own you know, their butcher shop, their bakery, their, all the different little stores, every neighborhood in, in the city. Well, every town we went to, every neighborhood had Cafe. really cool cafes and pizza shops and bakeries. Patisseries, and, oh, patisseries. My oh my God, the, the bread is incredible. And every town had one in it. Every town had a little market. Every town had a downtown to go hang out with. And, and it, was just, it was just an incredible social experience. Just, really uh, Open it up our eyes so much wider. Right? Yeah, they say, well, who said that travel is the, is the demise of prejudice? Mm -hmm. And uh, want, so it's really a. Oh, I'll have to look that up. I should be kidding. You get right. a chance, do it. Yeah, so here is our trip to France, and uh, I hope that you enjoy. Let's get right into it with one of the most famous landmarks of Paris, which of course is the Eiffel Tower. And once we found our way away from the crowds, got early morning tickets to go up and then come down to this beautiful park within the confounds of the tower grounds, it, the beauty of it just filled our hearts. Now this monument was built in 1889 for the World Fair. It was built by Gustave Eiffel to showcase the French industrial and technical prowess. It was built in just two years and of course the flowers all around it today only add to its beauty as they do with anything that they're around. Now we were content to go up to the second level which is at about 
377 feet, plenty high for us, and allowed us to see all over the historical part of the city, including the downtown area that you can see in the distance and the park where the Olympic Stadium is being built. And there we are smiling, looking down over the Seine River. We then also took a double decker bus and I, as, as touristy as it is, I highly recommend it to get off your feet and see some of the beautiful spots around Paris. From the tree lined streets, which with that double decker bus, we could reach out and almost touch those trees. There were so many tree lined streets. And along with those were the balconies of the apartments in Paris. And these little, I'll just call them mini gardens were just, I will be showing them um, throughout this, but they were absolutely beautiful. And on the day that we decided to climb up to the top of the Arc de Triomphe, we were able to see even more rooftop gardens, actual rooftop gardens, and get a load at this one. It was one of my favorite ones that I saw. And the closer that you get, the more that you can see. It's like a city park. It was amazing at the details and the beauty within this rooftop building. Now, keep in mind that I was on the hunt for beautiful gardens in France. Now, I saw many large ones, but one day we were walking back to our uh, Airbnb apartment and we came across this, we, we just felt compelled to walk through these gates and there was this little public park that was absolutely delightful. Now, it wasn't on the grand scale of Versailles, which I will be showing you here in just a few, but um, it just was the simplicity of it. Uh, there you see the church off to the distance, um, and it was complete with a rose garden and a vegetable garden, and it was just absolutely uh, looked well cared for and beloved. And it was just what I needed to get my energy going again because my feet were aching <laughs> from all the walking that we had done. And um, I was just delighted to see the efforts of this obvious community garden and the beauty of the little olive tree there and um, all that this garden possessed. We also uh, saw glimpses of Monet's beautiful gardens from his beautiful work at the Muse Les Andre, the uh, museum with these life-size Monet amazing works of art. And that was amazing. And outside of that museum, uh, and many of the museums were these amazing parks. This one here was at the uh, Place de la Concorde, where the fountains and the gardens and huge ponds assisted you towards making your way through this, this section of Paris. And it was absolutely stunning. And um, just the iris were in bloom, which is my favorite, favorite flower. And um, just really opens your mind and your heart to the possibilities of what this happened at the beginning of our trip. So the, the possibilities of what was in ahead of us on the trip. And it just seemed to go on and on and on forever. And um, smelling those irises, I love to smell me a good iris. And to do that in Paris was just delightful. And what was really cool is this park was sponsored by Chanel. And then, you know, since our apartment was close to uh, the Eiffel Tower, we saw many of the gardens that um, showcase the Eiffel Tower in the background. Look at that for Bina. Oh, I just absolutely loved it. Um, and so many things that were very familiar to me here from the States. And there they were with the Eiffel Tower there in the background. And um, in our morning walks and during the day, just couldn't seem to get enough of the beauty of these gardens. A few were closed because of the upcoming Olympics, but we were able to see so much, including so much Jupiter's beard throughout the trip in France that I came home and, and planted one here in my garden just because I just think they are such beautiful flowers. And um, yeah, from uh, just lamb's ear to you name it. Many things we see here were there, but it just in a special way. And again, the irises were absolutely spectacular. And the fountains, 
a, a garden is not complete without the fountains. You can see in this one, even some of the grandstands they were building for the Olympics, which kind of put it a little out of place, but we still enjoyed it. And uh, the history within these fountains as well was really spectacular. It just had you in awe of the buildings around it, the fountains, and, um, and they actually were cooling us off because it was a, a bit of a warm day there as we um, went through this area that had, there was four big fountains uh, amidst all of these buildings and again, amidst all these grandstands that were happening there. And I continued to be amazed at how well kept everything was. It was absolutely beautiful. And around every corner, you might see something new that you hadn't expected before. And things like Notre Dame, which sadly was closed during our stay there and probably will be for the next couple of years. Now, our journeys then took us to Brittany, which um, is on the north, what is that, the northeast section of France. And I never even realized that Brittany existed. We stayed at this little town called Denard. This was a view from our room and um, just the English Channel right there. It was absolutely spectacular to get us ready for our bike ride across this section of country, which was amazing. And to tell you the truth, my husband and I found ourselves laughing out loud. We were so happy as we went through these farmland and just the ease and the grace of the countryside, just a dream come true. We found ourselves at different um, estates along the way, historic places. This is actually where Patton slept, it was one of its claims to fame. But what I loved was the history of these gardens that have been kept so regal and so pristine over the years. This particular one, we had lunch there and it was delightful. Even though it was a rainy day between the house there was a church there seems to be a church everywhere and um, the grounds were just absolutely spectacular and kept up after all these years and that again is something that really inspired me to think that people care that much about their countryside and from the well-kept gardens to the vineyards that were not so well kept but rough and country and all of that there were just some days that we were out there riding that we just felt like we were all by ourselves and i really kind of liked that a lot now get this wisteria just riding along through this little village this wisteria was hanging over the house and the smell of it oh my goodness was amazing and look at these flowers just growing out of the rock walls which I saw a lot in our time there isn't that just just lovely and there was one afternoon that behind this church I walked I had gone to use the ladies room and I walked behind this church to find this view that actually just really took my breath away it made me cry it was so beautiful and the gardens there and uh, the community love again it kept coming up over and over again but look at that site amazing and even little canals that uh, this was across from our hotel in Bayou that um, we were getting ready for a ride one morning and it had a beautiful church there in the background and um, just this, I don't know what this plant is and if you do know, please let me know in the comments. It looks kind of hosta like but I know that it's not. But isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And these are the kind of things that we were seeing along our way. And, you know, the this was a, another church along the way that we, Ed and I, screeched on those tire brakes and came back in to look at this garden from the church. And the, the garden was just as beautiful as the church. And I think it says something for the importance of spirituality and loving the outdoors was just such a sign of, of a spiritual being. There's my husband, Ed. And uh, it was just really quite lovely. And even going through these the fields and seeing the flowers of these broad beans, 
going on for miles and miles and miles. It just was such an energizing and enlightening experience to see this happening without pesticides, without some of the things that unfortunately we tend to do too much in the US. And it was absolutely fascinating. Now, this next site is St. Mont Michael, or it's Mont Michael, and it's a castle that was built back in 708, something like that, with an abbey and a castle on top of it. It has all kinds of a history behind it. This is up towards the top of the castle near the church. Absolutely lovely. And again, just everywhere you look, flowers and plants growing out of rocks. I don't know about you, but I find it always fascinating when plants are growing out of rocks. But this castle was beautiful. I recommend getting up there early if you ever go. Anything you do in some of these sites, go early because when we were leaving, the crowds were coming in in droves. So um, get up there early and see what you can see. And the plants reminded me a lot of more California type plants in this region, but there's a Jupiter's beard by a seagull nesting, which was kind of fun to watch. And then we headed to the beaches of Normandy, uh, Omaha Beach, Juneau Beach, etc., which so many emotions, so many things came up that I can't even begin to show in this video. I do have something on Instagram that I shared that you might want to take a look over there at Victory Girl on Instagram. But there's those Jupiter beards again along the beaches, um, but just a incredibly beautiful spot and knowing what happened there 80 years ago to protect all of our freedom is such a huge reminder that we you know that beauty beauty is in the eyes of the beholder I believe that they say and um, knowing the lives that were lost here on this beach and now that it flourishes with these blooms and again more blooms in this region along the walls out of the walls up on top of the walls and this was kind of in a back alley type area that wasn't you know anything the poppies oh my goodness the red poppies which is a sign and symbol for Normandy and uh, what they went through with the war with, with World War II so we just rode our bikes through these little streets seeing things like this these beautiful swans that were just you know going about their business and these are the sites that we got to see because we got off the main roads we were with a, a tour company called back roads so that makes sense the last place that we stayed on the bike tour in normandy was called the grand hotel and it was grand oh my goodness the view from our room which i'll show you here in a minute was just amazing but out front they had this park slash garden with a merry-go-round one of the things we found in this region was that many of the parks had real merry-go-rounds in them which i just found so lovely and then they had these different flowers what i was guessing and i am just guessing at this were for different uh, regions of the world where they honored the flowers of those regions of the world and you know, it was our last morning there and we were really sad to go because we had made some good friends along the way and we knew that our taxi was coming to take us to the train station back in Paris at any time. And uh, just being in this park and looking at all the beautiful flowers and, you know, just absorbing it all. I think that's one of the things when you go on a trip is about absorbing it all and loving the things that you see. But again, sharing the different flowers and how much we have in common with when you look at flowers in that light uh, with different places around the world, because we've all kind of uh, been somewhat of a melting pot in that we come together and pansies. Of course, there's pansies wherever you go this time of year. Um, there's a Europe thing there. They had some, again, the water, the uh, merry-go-round, and then they had some water garden pieces here also that were very, very lovely. And again, there's that really big 
plant? Is it a hosta? What is that? If somebody could tell me in the comments, I would love that because I don't know what that is. And I guess I could do some research and find out. But if you guys know, please let me know. And this is a shot of the sunrise during our last morning there in Normandy. And what I will tell you is, is that it is fascinating, and I'll use that word again, to watch the tides go in and out. The tide had come all the way up. It went all the way back out again and was coming back up when we left. But um, that was a view from that I woke up with that last morning outside of our hotel window facing the English Channel and it was absolutely beautiful and from there we headed back to Paris. And I cannot talk about Paris without talking about the pastries. They were phenomenal. Uh, I am not a big sugar eater but I sure was in Paris and it was delicious and made quite healthily. Healthily is that a word? One of the things that had and I did our first morning back in Paris is we found this obscure park and this trail not on any map. I don't we don't even know how we really got there but we were just wandering. Sometimes it's good just to wander and we wandered into this park. Well it was like a a wilderness area and then a park and look at that basket weave in that garden along with the brick wall absolutely beautiful which brings us to versailles speaking of opulence and beauty and all of that and i want to share with you some recordings straight from versailles that day <laughs> Sadly, it was pouring rain when we were there, but we still enjoyed so many of the amazing sights that there is to see from the statues and fountains and amazing flowers. And to think that all of this has, some of it's been around for a long time, some of it not so much, but it got me in the topiary mood, that is for sure. Now, Versailles is just about a half an hour's train ride from Paris and um, again back in Paris the gardens in the apartments just fascinated me and how one person might not have anything at all and another is in flowers another has all kinds of things but the one thing that pulls everyone together is once again the gardens that we found throughout the city of Paris that 
when you least expected it, all of a sudden, boom, look at this rose garden. It is just, it was absolutely beautiful. And um, imagine just looking out your apartment window at looking at this beauty that you don't have to maintain. That's kind of a, a sweet idea too, isn't it? And it wasn't just in the city parks. There was also so many flower shops along the way that had their flowers out front, just like you would imagine in Paris, right? And um, I loved seeing seeing so many people carrying flowers home or wherever they were going and knowing that they got them from these shops that again just seemed to be and as as there were many 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 cafes there were many flower shops and patisseries and all those things you imagine would be in Paris and I just was fascinated by all of it look at these bougainvilleas just absolutely the colors the colors, I think, is what really stood out for me so much. Look at this jasmine smelling so delicious as we walked by. And so that, my friends, is going to wrap up our visit of France from a viewpoint that we had of the Seine River and the Eiffel Tower at sunrise that last morning. I just absolutely cannot wait to go back to see more, do more, be more, to enjoy the flowers, the gardens, and all the history of France, along with the farmlands and all that we saw. So for now, I will say au revoir. Thanks for growing with us. And we will see you next time. And in the meantime, be sure to like, comment, let us know what really resonated for you in this video. And then, of course, be sure to subscribe at no cost to you and be updated when we have new videos up to play.